Hello everybody and welcome to Andrew Rants, a video series where I stand upon my metaphorical soapbox pedestal of the world and, well, bitch and complain about the things that annoy me, bother me, and upset me. And this topic is something that definitely touches a nerve for me. I try not to show it too often when it does happen, but it really does touch a nerve with me and not in a pleasant way. And what is the nerve you're asking that it touches? What bothers me so much that I basically, well, get really pissed off? Well, it's actually quite simple. I really get annoyed when the previous generations, like my mom and my grandfather's generations, constantly give my generation and the younger generation a hard time for not doing things the way they did it. Now, I've already done an entire rant video, Stop Blaming Millennials for Everything, and in all honesty, I thought I covered most of the topics then and there. But I didn't, apparently because there's still so much more. I barely scratched the surface of that. So, what's my issue with this problem? Well, I'm kind of getting sick and tired of how the past generations seem to think that they that the way that they did everything is the only way things can be done. Now, keep in mind, my grandfather's generation is known as the greatest generation because they were the ones that fought back in World War II. My grandfather was in the Korean War, so there is that. That generation basically did everything. They learned how to do a lot of stuff in school that schools have sadly cut. They've learned how to do other things that we take for granted. And it pisses them off. Now, that's fine and dandy, but then you have my mom's generation. Now, my grandfather's generation was definitely pissed at my mom's generation back when they were around our age. And I guarantee you, my grandfather's parents' generation was pretty pissed off at his generation back when he was around our age, too. So, it's a cycle that continues. But the problem is, it's a cycle that will constantly continue. Whereas my grandfather's generation didn't tolerate the things that my mom's generation did, my mom's generation really doesn't tolerate the things that my generation does, and eventually, my generation's not going to tolerate the things that the next generation's going to do. It's a never-ending cycle. And it sucks. It's something that we really need to take care of. And we need to find a way to stop it. Now, while everyone's entitled to their own opinion, I am a firm and very strong believer in this. There's a point in time when opinions should just stay that. Opinions. Oh, well, I think you should do this, this, and this. Your generation should do this, this, and this. And not do this, this, and this. But the thing is that a lot of times my generation is incapable of doing this, this, and this. Like, they think my generation should go out and get jobs working in factories. We can't do that. Mostly because we want to come up with our own way of making a living. We don't want to just keep living the same lives that our parents lived. We want to march to the beat of our own drum. Same as my mom probably told my grandparents, and her generation told all of their parents. We want to march to the beat of our own drum. It's understandable, and frankly, I agree with it. I'd like to march to the beat of my own drum, too. I do YouTube videos as well as everybody else does. I sell stuff on eBay as well as everyone else does. I have a part-time job like everybody else does. I have student loan and debt like everybody else does. There's a constant, well, definite everybody else feel to a lot of stuff that I do. But you have people that apparently aren't showing respect to the older generations. Well, while yes, I think the elderly and the older generations do deserve some respect, there is an old saying that respect is a two-way street. It has to both be earned and given. Now, yes, I know you should respect your elders regardless. There are times when you're going to grow up and you're going to think that your elders are wrong. Well, just because you did something like this in their day, that you should do it the exact same way. Whereas, you could have come up with a better way to do it and still get the same end result. But because it wasn't the way that they were taught to do it, they don't like it. And then they get upset about it. And all this came about because my mom brought up a topic that she was talking with some elderly person who said that children nowadays 
that are coming out of high school that want to take a year off before they go to college should spend that year doing basic training. Then that way they will come out and have a totally new outlook and aspect of life. Because it changed his life. Well, that's fine and dandy for you. It's not really for everybody else. Not everybody's cut out to do the same things everyone else does. A long time ago in high school, I had to do an essay on why the school should not have uniforms. And my response was that if everybody dressed the same, there would be no individuality. If everyone had the same attire, the same knowledge, the same doings, and the same basic everything that everyone else can do, there would be no individuality. And we would all basically be nothing but gray blobs, which is true. I mean, think about it. If we all looked alike, we all dressed alike, and we all acted alike, what would make us individuals? What would make us basically be us? Nothing. And that's the same problem that we have now. Whereas we could follow our parents' teaching, which was the teaching from their parents and their parents before them, or we could branch off and try to make our own way of life based on what they taught us and mixing it in with our own experiences. But unfortunately, the branching off process doesn't seem to work too well, and that seems to be what upsets people too much. So, while I understand the concept that they're not happy with the newest generation, I really think they should stop insulting us and telling us that we really need to start doing things their way. Now, I know that they aren't flat out doing it, at least not to our faces, but to condemn an entire generation of people just on the actions of a few of a few is kind of asinine i mean just because some have no aspect in life no outlook and no goals doesn't mean that they all don't there may be some that do and just fly under the radar but everybody focuses on the ones that have no aspect of life no goals no admiration no as no aspirations and stuff like that no aspirations, things like that, that they focus on. So, if a person doesn't want to go to college, they instantly think that everybody in that generation doesn't want to go to college. If somebody in that generation doesn't want to have a 9-to-5 job, they think everybody in that generation doesn't want to have a 9-to-5 job. If everybody in that generation wants to sell stuff on eBay and make YouTube videos, they think that everybody in that generation wants to sell stuff on eBay and make YouTube videos. That's the point. We want to be our own individuals. I know for a fact my mom's generation obviously had said that to their parents once or twice many times beforehand were, the, were those words spoken before in history. I want to be an individual. I don't want to follow in conformity to everybody else. I want to be an individual. So why then do we have this issue where the past generations are bad-mouthing us? Just because we look for the easier way out that still gives us the same result with a little less work that we can use our extra time towards something else? Or because they kind of think we should still be doing things their way and are just trapped in their archaic system? Let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, I'm Andrew Rhodes, and this has been Andrew Rants.